Hey everyone, um, this is your host uh, Sasuke, and today I'm going to present you a clan battle of Sage versus DX, and we're going to take a look at what the fuck I'm not white's point of view, because I've uh, watched this uh, many times, and he did the best, and he uh, also came in first place out of this uh, clan battle. Uh, I just want to say both uh, both clans did pretty well. They, uh, they both uh, were, you know, they were just challenging to each other. They, everyone brought their, you know, their um, their A game. But you know, towards the end, Sage uh, uh, took the W. And um, as you can see, uh, what the fuck, I'm not white. He's, uh, you know, just. Looking on, looking everywhere, make sure you know everything's good. But unfortunately, he dies right there. But uh, he doesn't give up. He just running through their spawn, you know, killing them, and that's what uh, I guess uh, kind of gave us the advantage of uh, planting bombs and stuff. But uh, um, like I said, he's a really good player, and uh, he uh, he's a <laughs> not just a good player, but he's a also a good host. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my series of uh, how do you feel with uh, Sage Clan, um, he's also the, um, the host of that uh, series, and uh, we basically just talk about how bad Mob Clan is, but mostly just Jose Fresh. And um, anyways, uh, if you guys haven't checked that out, please uh, check it out. Um, it's in uh, it's in my uh, um, my channel and stuff. So. Anyways, back to the clan battle. Um, I guess you know we've been um, well. DX has been beefing with us since Modern Warfare 3. It's been back and forth. We had like peace treaties so many times, but then I don't know. Like either Arsenix or someone has to open their mouth, and we get back at it with each other. We're just like back and forth. And you know we have we have another peace treaty. You know we don't go against each other, but then somehow something happens, and then we start hating each other again. But it's just like a back and forth rela relationship type of thing. It's just I don't know. It's like we're just like done with it. We just don't care anymore. But um, what we're gonna say? But also, um, I'm also pumped up for um, E3. If you guys. Uh, haven't uh, heard it's gonna be um, through June 11th through June 13th and uh, I believe it's gonna be presenting Nintendo's conference first of course you know like really nobody really cares about it but only like you know yeah little kids I guess I don't know but um and then uh, on uh, June 12th is gonna be um let's see I think it's going to be Sony's uh, press conference and you know of course everyone's waiting for that to see um, what um, what they're uh, going to um, do with it, you know if they're going to reveal the system which I'm pretty sure they are because you know they, they already uh, revealed the uh, Xbox One you know um, Xbox uh, revealed their system and so we're just waiting on Sony and hopefully they will get like a little, like a little uh, peek at it at least you know if not, then um, I guess we're just gonna have to wait until uh, until the day comes when they announce uh, when when they're gonna um, uh, sell it on uh, on a holiday. Which I'm I don't know. I'm thinking the holidays that they're talking about. I'm thinking it's either gonna be like uh, what's it called Thanksgiving or um, like around Christmas time, of course. But because also too like uh, I'm thinking they're also just waiting for the new Call of Duty to come out as well. So just um, they're just waiting for that to get pushed out of the way, you know, so people can just buy this um, the game. And then like, oh, okay, since Call of Duty's out, you know, which a lot of people, you know, go to the store and buy and stuff. So that's like a perfect opportunity, you know, to uh, sell your um, uh, PS4 or Xbox One. So right there, you know, so people can keep spending their money. And which is, I don't know, to me it's a really good idea because might as well, you know, because there's a lot of people already outside waiting to buy the new Call of Duty. Why not, you know, give them the opportunity to buy the Xbox One and uh, PS4. So, yeah, I wanted to ask you guys um, if, uh, which system are you guys going to buy? And, 
what Call of Duty um, are you guys gonna buy it for? Are you guys gonna buy it for the PS3, PS4, Xbox, Xbox One? Just uh, please uh, let let me know. I want I want to hear. I want I want to I want to see what you guys think. So if you guys can leave a comment down below, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> but um, well, back at this uh, gameplay, um, as you can see, what the fuck is not white? He's uh, I guess guarding. Um, oh well, he's gonna plant A. And uh, hopefully he succeeds, and he does. Oh, and he gets taken out. But um, he's just gonna stay around the B bomb. He's not gonna let it go. He's gonna try. He's gonna uh, try to stay there for as long as possible. And unfortunately, his tag gets destroyed. But um, that's what we uh, sage and um, I don't know. Just every other clan. That's what we. That's what everybody does. What what I notice. They'll clip like. You know their uh, attack and EMP, which is I don't know. I think it's smart um, for either uh, party, and uh, you know just to get that advantage on on that um, person on well not just the person but on just uh, the other clan. You know just destroying the attack so they won't get near the bomb. So that's, that's pretty smart on uh, both uh, clans. But uh, yeah, um, so uh, we're getting what towards the yeah. Towards the end of the first round, but um, yeah, there he goes. So what the fuck's not white? He's uh, taking the lead for us, and um, it's well. Oh, I forgot to mention. Haha, <laughs> it's XDMH also too in there, and uh, part of uh, DX. But I don't know. That's the thing I didn't really get. Like, why did DX have to join XDMH? Are they that desperate to try to beat us? I don't know. It's just ridiculous to me. It's like if you were if you're a good clan, well, why don't you try to um, you know, try to practice more, try to you know get better uh, people in your clan, not just merge with other people. I don't know. It's just bad. <laughs> and this is what it ends up happening because once you merge with another clan, you you know you're playing with that party, but you don't know how they play. So you gotta just basically rent like I don't know. You're just guessing on how they play. You don't know how they exactly play. If they're a rusher, if they just um, if they're a camper, you know, only camp for kills. They don't help help you uh, um, with the objective, and you know that would cause your team to lose. Or they just like to chill at the uh, at the um, end of the map or or in their spawn, which is a uh, you know <laughs> it's a I mean it's an advantage for us, but. It's a disadvantage for them, you know, because they're just, you know, um, giving us the the win. <laughs> but like I said, I don't know. I, I would expect, you know, better from DX. You know, I thought they were gonna at least try to um, try to get better people at least. But I never thought they were gonna merge with XDMA. That was that was a bad part or a, a bad move on them. But hey, you know, I'm in Sage, so I don't know. I guess it's. <laughs> It uh, doesn't have to do anything with me. It just I don't know. I was, I was just saying, this is my opinion. But hey, you know that's how you run your clan. So that you know, that's that's on you. So yeah, I don't know. It's like whatever. But I I would also like to say, I do have some friends from DX, and you know, there's some people I'm cool with there. But honestly, it's like whatever. I just I don't know. I'm just done with the whole beef of the DX or the Sage. It's like whatever. If they happen to be in the lobby, I, I was like, whatever, you know, we'll just, we'll stay, you know, but other than that, it's like, you know, like I said, I have some friends in there I'm cool with, I have no beef with, and, uh, you know, just, I guess just try to be, um, I don't know, just try to, try not to, like, merge with them, man, it's like, just get, get out of that merging thing. You guys are, like, better than uh, XDMH, man, uh, that, that, that's for sure, but. Hey, like I said, it is what it is. But, um, oh yeah, I was gonna say, we also had like our uh, tryouts from uh, yesterday for the Sage tryouts. And, um, unfortunately, I wasn't there to uh, record any part of it. Um, I was kind of busy, I had a company over, so I couldn't have, uh, couldn't have time to uh, get on on time for the um, whole Sage tryouts. But uh, hopefully, you know, everybody else got it. But anyways, guys, we reached uh, the, the end. And um, unfortunately, uh, Theorem of fucks up right here. But uh, Sage did win this one on overtime. And um, 
I'll bring more videos to the future and Sasuke out.